Prince William and Kate Middleton have been m.i.a on social media. It's been said that Prince William and the Princess of Wales, formerly known as Kate Middleton, were bracing themselves for whatever was shown in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Doka series and whatever the Duke revealed in his memoir Spare. While much of the public didn't think William and his wife would release a rebuttal or react at all publicly to any accusations, royal watchers weren't expecting the Waleses to be M.I. William and Kate's social media accounts haven't posted anything this year. Leaked excerpts from Harry's book have put some unwanted attention on Will and Kate. Despite that, fans just expected the Waleses to carry on with business as usual but their social media inactivity isn't exactly usual. The Prince and Princess's Twitter and Instagram accounts haven't been active lately. As of this writing, the last post on at Kensington Royal is a retweet on December. 29, marking the death of legendary soccer star Pele. Before that was a post of artwork by their son Prince George on Christmas Day. It's unusual for those running William and Kate's accounts to go weeks without posting anything. The accounts would normally at least put up a post for the new year but there was nothing. Also odd, is that there wasn't anything tweeted or mentioned about Kate's 41st birthday on Jan. 9. This Wales missing in action on social media has left curious fans wondering what the reason is for their social media silence and when they'll break it. Kate's birthday was overshadowed by Prince Harry's book tour. In October, the publisher of Prince Harry's book, Penguin Random House, revealed that the memoir would be released one day after Kate's birthday. Over the last few days, Excerpts have been leaked and the Duke of Sussex has been on a promotional tour for the book with several interviews and appearances on both sides of the pond, and therefore Kate's big day was totally overshadowed by her brother-in-law. However, Camilla, Queen Consort, formerly Camilla Parker Bowles, and King Charles III, who haven't had a ton of activity on the accounts lately either, did put out a tweet for the princess's birthday. The royals debunked one claim made in the Sussexes documentary. After Meghan and Harry got their story out via their Netflix documentary, we all knew William and Kate weren't going to appear in prime time and refute the Sussexes' allegations. The royals have continued to stick to their mantra of not saying anything at all but did deliver a message without saying a word when they debunked one of Meghan's claims. Following the release of Harry and Meghan, Royal family members gathered at Westminster Abbey and made a point with their clothing. Kate, Princess Anne's daughter Zara Tyndall, and Princess Charlotte all wore burgundy for the Together at Christmas event. Many viewed that as a direct shot at Meghan and anyone who watched the Sussex's Doka series in which the Duchess said, To my understanding, you can't ever wear the same color as Her Majesty if there's a group event. But then you also should never be wearing the same color as one of the other more senior members of the family. The royals sent the message again days later during their walk to Christmas morning mass in Sandringham when the Princess of Wales and Princess Beatrice both wore green, and Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex's daughter, Lady Louise, wore a similar color coat as Camilla, Queen Consort,